What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of arguably one of the best spec tablets the world has ever seen. This is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. There's all kinds of tech goodness crammed into this guy. Let's go ahead, open it up, take a look, see if it lives up to all of the hype. All right, so here we've got the Galaxy Note box. Uh, thank you to our friends at Negri Electronics for hooking us up with this guy. Uh, the link to them is going to be down below if you want to check out their site or pick up the tab itself. This is the international version. So the 10.1 comes with a 10.1 inch screen and S Pen versatility. Uh, don't call this guy a stylus. He uses Wacom and magnets to do all kind of pen input wizardry. Uh, so picture, picture on the back. Some specs here, but of course we're going to run through all this. This guy's got a lot of tech in it and some interesting stuff that we don't see in many other tablets. Let's go ahead and dig in. Uh, so it's going to be available this month, which is August 2012, at least as of filming. Go ahead and pull this out. So still wrapped up, sealed in the plastic. So SIM card or micro SD, we do have expandable storage. Going to be available in 16, 32, or 64 configurations, but obviously with expandable storage as well. We've got quick start guide, we've got the US adapter, we've got, I have no idea what that is, something for the stylus I'm assuming, there's the uh, cord that plugs into with USB, we've got for charging and syncing, uh, I believe this is uh, a proprietary uh, pin connector, and we've got a pair of headphones with some accompanying ear gels. But that's not why you're here. This is the reason you guys are all here. Let's take a look at the Galaxy Note 10.1. I'm going to power it on, and then we can start talking about all the good stuff under the hood. Hopefully there's enough juice. Looks like there is, and I'll peel off the plastics, and you guys hate when that is on there. Push it off to the side. All right, so let's talk about what's gonna be in this guy. Uh, so first, it's running Android 4.0 with TouchWiz. Samsung has said uh, that Jelly Bean will eventually make its way to the device. Uh, from a dimension standpoint, it's 10.3 inches by 7 inches by a really thin uh, 0.3 inches, and it weighs just 21.1 ounces. Uh, so this rotating beautiful screen here uh, is 10.1 inches. It's WXGA, so that's 1280 by 800, uh, and it's an LCD. We go ahead and run through the startup program. We'll get to the start screen, and then I'll run through the rest of the specs. All right, so we got this guy all powered and booted up. Let's go ahead and finish running through the specs. So hidden in the back, non-removable style, is a 7,000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, so pretty significant sizes here. Uh, from a processing standpoint, we're looking at a 1.4 gigahertz quad-core processor. Uh, it's Samsung's own Exynos, which is blazingly fast. Uh, two gigs of RAM, again, as I mentioned, it's gonna come in 16, 32, or 64, uh, but that will be 100% expandable. Uh, so we do have some cameras on the back of it. We've got a 5 megapixel sensor with LED flash that can shoot 1080p, but we've got also got one on the front, and that is a 1.9 megapixel camera, which is kind of a, an odd uh, megapixelage. Uh, so it's going to be available in different configurations, so Wi-Fi only, uh, Wi-Fi or 3G uh, slash HSPA+, so technically 4G, uh, or LTE coming later. Uh, so it's got Bluetooth 4.0 in here, no NFC, uh, S Pen compatible, 256 levels of pressure. Uh, one thing that is really cool though, it's got an IR blaster in here. So you actually use this to control a ton of peripherals or as a TV remote. It's actually a smart remote app in here. You can go through and program uh, all kinds of stuff. And also uh, some cool things we'll see from third parties that sort of take advantage of this to use this as your main remote. A lot of really cool uh, potential functionality for that. So let's take a look around the tablet first. Uh, so we've got the camera, got speaker grill living on the left and right. On the top, this is where a lot of the action and ports are going to happen. Uh, SIM card slot right there, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, that's where that IR business is gonna live. Micro SD, volume up and down, and then your power and lock button. On the back, we got through that white plastic that we've seen, and living on the bottom corner is the S Pen. Uh, should be very familiar to anybody that's used the Galaxy Note. Go ahead and you can just start working with it uh, pretty much right away. So let's go ahead and go home and you can start scrolling around. Uh, there's a button here you can hold down to take screen captures or all kinds of other uh, functionality. If you want to take screenshots as well, there's a dedicated button for that down below. The pen actually makes it really nice to do some demonstrations here. Uh, so let's take a look around at uh, the software and some of the TouchWiz-esque stuff that we've got here. Uh, so the first thing is that little arrow that I'm tapping, it's going to pull up essentially some uh, widgets that uh, they've got here as well. So you can go ahead and quickly access them. Uh, a lot of these are all custom Samsung widgets. 
Uh, if we go ahead and check out apps in the upper right hand corner, uh, you can see what Samsung's added on here. Uh, Dropbox give you, I believe, 50 gigs of free storage. There's that smart remote app that I mentioned, My Files for file management. You've got some CRAN physics stuff. Uh, Samsung's chat on app, which essentially is a multi platform chat application. Uh, think of it as BBM or iMessage um, or WhatsApp, just uh, Samsung's version of it. Uh, one interesting thing here we've got a phone. Uh, so if you thought that the original 5.3-inch uh, Galaxy Note was going to be too big for you, uh, you're going to be pretty surprised when you go ahead and take a look at this guy or try and hold this sucker up to your head. Uh, more than likely, they'll use it with Bluetooth to go ahead and make phone calls. But you can indeed use this guy as a phone. Uh, so the Note name is still good for uh, a phone. Let's go ahead and take a look at the specs and see what else we got in here. Let's go into Settings. We'll go over to General. It's all different here on the device. So we'll go about device. So Android 4.0.4, you can see the base fan version, the kernel version, all that kind of business uh, that's going to come shipping on the phone or the tablet. Phone, tablet, both, I guess. A multitasking is handled by that button right there. Same thing with ice cream sandwich that we've seen. You go ahead and swipe that off. Samsung didn't uh, touch whiz it up. Uh, if you got a blank screen, go ahead and hold it down. Go ahead and select app widgets folders uh, or page. Go ahead and go home. And uh, go ahead and continue your scrolling and searching. Um, let's see if we have any sort of S voice on here as well, actually. We saw that with the Galaxy S3. And this is kind of the Galaxy S3 tablet version. Uh, very, very similar specs. Uh, so let's see if we've got anything sort of S voice um, special for it. I will notice you've got the Photoshop Touch in here. You've got some S notes, uh, which is actually really solid. Um, I don't see any, see any sort of um, S voice on here. So you're going to have to use some regular chatting, unfortunately, with um, Google's own services, uh, which previously to uh, Jelly Bean were not overly awesome. They're OK, but um, not super outstanding. Uh, Polaris Office is also going to leave here as well for all your Word documents um, and Microsoft Office creation. Uh, the rest of the stuff here is pretty standard TouchWiz that we've seen in the past. Overall, a very thin package, what I'm really looking forward to testing out and um, learning how to use. Uh, so I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. This has been an unboxing and first look at the Galaxy Tab. 10.1.